Flashcards are one of the most powerful tools a student can use to learn, but unfortunately creating them is often a tedious process. I personally know students who prefer to spend 50 bucks buying someone else's flashcards than spend an afternoon or two creating their own. And that's why I think that ChatGPT could be so extremely helpful, because if you learn how to use it properly, you can instruct this bot to create you detailed and personalized flashcards in a matter of seconds. So with that in mind, what I want to do in this video is show you six creative ways in which you can use ChatGPT to optimize your flashcard game. And stay till the end because the last four ways are advanced prompts that could save you hours of time and take your study efficiency to the next level. Okay, so this is the simplest way to create flashcards with ChatGPT. Just copy paste the given text into it and instruct the bot to create cards based on that. So for instance, here I have a review article on dizziness, right? And all I need to do to make multiple flashcards in this article is copy paste it here and then go up top and instruct him, please write multiple question and answer uh, cards based on the following information. Now, a couple of important comments here. Number one, the bot works best when you give him very precise instructions on what you actually want. If you just say make Q&A cards based on the following text, he may very well produce good flashcards, but he also may very well produce just a couple of very general cards with inappropriately long explanations. And that's not really ideal, right? So always try to be as precise as possible. Try something like make multiple and very detailed Q&A cards using the following information or make sure to include cards on these, these and that, or make 20 concise Q&A cards based on the following information and make sure to include cards on the differential diagnosis of syncope. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is that you may need to break your article into different segments because you see ChatGPT has a word limit. So if your article is very, very lengthy, you may need to break it up in chunks and give him separate instructions on each one of those chunks. Another way you can create cards is by simply just asking him about a topic. Make detailed and comprehensive Q&A cards on the lack of fern. <laughs> what is lack of fern? What is the function of the lack C gene? Like, like A gene. That's actually really good. Make more cards on the regulation of the lack of fern. Regulation. Amazing. Speaking of amazing, I'm gonna take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, AppsHive. As the world's number one review and rating website for apps and games, AppsHive offers a remarkable platform where you can find the best apps that cater to your specific needs. With AppsHive, you no longer have to surf through 10 different websites just to find the best app for you. Simply type in the name of the app or category you're looking for and the platform will do the rest. You can also enter your location and profession and AppsHive will provide you with a list of top rated results that you might find helpful. From taxi services to medical databases for students or professionals, AppsHive has you covered. And so if you like what you hear, make sure to check out the link in the description and visit AppsHive today. Thanks AppsHive for sponsoring this video. Okay, this next one is one of my favorites. So instead of just asking him to create simple Q&A cards, I can instruct him to create multiple option test-like questions, which I can then use as flashcards. Make comprehensive, comprehensive and detailed a multiple choice test-like questions on the following article. Now, a few things to keep in mind. You can ask him to provide the answers, right? Because there were only the questions here. Or you can, you could just say, keep going. And he will continue to provide you with more questions. 
And in my opinion, this is where the bot really shines because if you look, if you look at these questions right here, you will see that they are very in depth, very detailed, right? Uh, general Q and A cards when you just instruct him to write Q and A cards are not that in depth. This would be the the flashcard that I would make with ChatGPT. All right, moving on, we have another advanced prompt, which is the table creation. And it's actually very simple. All you need to do is really to tell him, create a table, right? That's like the basic prompt, comparing, for instance, Crohn's disease with ulcerative colitis. And you can instruct, and you can be very specific. Make sure to include roles for clinical presentation, pathophysiology, diagnosis, and treatment, for instance. Uh, and you can instruct him to either base himself on some information that you're gonna provide, or just create a table with what he already has, right? And then you just press enter, and he's gonna start to create the table. And this is amazing because I can then take a screenshot of this table, right? Then go ahead, paste it in Anki, and it then start just masking the table. So I can, for instance, mask the clinical presentation, the pathophysiology, the diagnosis, the treatment. I can mask all of that, then uh, just add them. And then when I start to review them, my flashcards look something like this, where I have uh, the clinical presentation mask and I have to remember, and then I just press enter and right there, I have the response. It's great, right? All right, the next use case may not be for everyone, but for those who need it, it may be a game changer. And I'm referring to the ability of making flashcards directly in another language, right? So to show you how it works, here I have the same text on dizziness, right? But instead of just telling him to do normal Q&A cards, I'm gonna tell him to create multiple choice test questions in Spanish using the following information. Then I just press enter and he will start to make flashcards directly in Spanish. Okay, and finally, the last creative way in which you can use ChatGPT to make flashcards is by integrating it with other apps. For instance, in one of my first videos in this channel, I explained how lectures in YouTube were a fundamental tool in my learning process. But you see, as good as those lectures were, they were always sort of a very passive way of learning, right? However, if ChatGPT existed back then, I could have just opened up the transcript of the lecture, copy paste it in ChatGPT, and make him create detailed Q&A cards on the lecture to help me actively review all of the main important points. Now, this was just to give you an idea. In fact, all of these examples were just my attempt to give you ideas on how you can use this bot to make your life a little bit easier. But now it's your turn to really put this to the test and see if it actually works for you or not. But anyways, I hope you got some value out of this. Let me know if you want more videos on this topic. Thanks for tuning in and as always, I'll see you in the next one.